Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode of Bowhunter Dive. Before we jump into the hunting action, wanted to let you know we've got a fresh new stock of bowhunting.com and bowhunter dive gear available on the website. So if you're in the market for some last minute Christmas gift ideas, make sure you check it out. We got the classic black t-shirt back in stock. We actually brought back one of the originals. One of the most requested items we get is the original black sweatshirt that we did 10 or 12 years ago and we finally went and got a new batch made up. So make sure you check those out. We got a couple new beanie hats available as well. We got some cold, cold temperatures on the way for late season, so perfect gift. We also got a fresh batch of Antler Shield hoodies in a new performance material. So guys, make sure you check those out. There's still time to get your orders in, whether you're giving them as a gift for your friend or your family, or you're just buying them for yourself. These are the best deals of the season, so make sure you check it out. So with my sales pitch out of the way, guys, we're gonna jump into an awesome hunt today. We've got Kurt Thorson, who's a new team member for us. You know, Todd brought Kurt, or as his friends like to call him, Jert, onto the team earlier this year. He's been spending some time in a tree with Todd, filming, and uh, when he hasn't been with Todd, he's been out on his own, and after hunting pretty hard this fall, Jert finally has a, actually a really awesome hunt. Uh, so I'm gonna stop talking, let's check it out now. All right, guys, well, I just pulled up to my spot. I'm gonna make my way up here. I just checked the trail camera and actually one of the nice shooter bucks that we've got up here, a really nice mature, I think he's a seven point. He just showed up in daylight over top of a scrape along with another small little eight pointer. I'm gonna hurry up, make my way up there. I'm not gonna drive near as far as I normally would just because I know it was 15 minutes ago, I think that he was up here. I'm gonna park, I'm gonna utilize the snow that we've got to just sneak my way right into the stand. Hopefully I can get up there, get set up, and make it a quick, nice, easy hunt. Here we go. Okay, I just got set up in the stand. And of course, as soon as I crest the hill, there's a doe already out in the food plot. But that's all right. She luckily, when she busted out of here, she did not make a peep. Normally they sit there, stomp, and snort. And I got a little nervous that she was going to because as soon as I saw her and she saw me, she turned and started walking at me. And that's always the ones that give you trouble and they sit there and make as much ruckus as they can. But luckily, she just turned and trotted right out of the food plot and didn't make a noise. And I got in here without busting anything else out. Like I said, it's November 14th. On the way in, there's a bunch of fresh new scrapes. That trail camera, there was obviously bucks out 30 minutes before I got out here. Well, I finally got a chance to do an update. That little button buck finally made his way out of the food plot and the does that were down here worked their way off. Uh, today was a pretty, 
pretty tough day. My grandma passed away this morning. And uh, I wasn't going to come out. And I stayed with the family for the majority of the afternoon. And I finally decided to come out because I knew that's what she would want. And that she would want me to tell her how my hunt went. And uh, as soon as the sun popped out of the clouds, it was on the turn of a dime. And all of a sudden, I started seeing deer. And I had a couple does coming right in. And they're about 56 yards away and I could hear a grunt right right downwind of me, but sure enough here comes a buck. And from what I could tell on the camera, he looked like a stud. But he chased that doe and I thought it was gonna happen. They they were coming right up to me. And the doe of course bailed right back into the into the woods and he was right on after her grunting away. I'm just happy to be out here. Regardless if I get anything or not. But at the end of the day, I'll be sure to tell my grandma how everything went.
Oh my gosh, Fox. You don't know how much that deer needs to be right there. <laughs> Home is for you, Grandma. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say right now. Yes. Oh my gosh. Last light. I got into the stand. I was talking to a couple friends and I said this hunt was going to be for my grandma today. I didn't care if I got anything. I just wanted to enjoy my time out here. and To get a nice mature buck like that, I, she was definitely with me. Oh, yes. Well, I'm going to... I'm going to start packing my stuff up here. I'm a thousand miles from nowhere And there's no place I'd rather be I'm a thousand miles from nowhere And time don't matter to me Cause I'm a All right, guys, I uh, just picked up my dad. It's about two hours after I shot that buck and uh, we just made our way here. This is the first arrow and uh, it is filled with blood, but I definitely hit him further back than I wanted to. I, I, I don't know, I've gotten in a habit of aiming low on deer just because I've had so many deer duck on me in the past. And so I, this deer was just slightly quartering to me. So I tried to tuck it as close as I could to that front shoulder and it was just off just a little bit, right about the level of the heart. Um, and he made his way out to the food plot there and he stopped, gave me another opportunity. So I grabbed another arrow and I smoked him on that second one and I could tell that he was hurting when he ran off. So it's been about two hours. We're gonna go check this other arrow and uh, take up the blood trail. But luckily we've got this snow. It helps out with the trailing so much. And I know he headed right towards where I had the truck park. It's gonna be a, hopefully an easy track job. That one's the second arrow. That one is coated too. Right from here, four feet over. I'm, I love these kill zones, man. They are just awesome brought up. I can see bubbles on that. Yeah, there's blood all over. I see him. Oh my hey, gosh. Man. I love you, Dad. Love you too. Oh my gosh. Graham would be happy. Man, talk about an absolutely awesome ending to what started as a really rough day for the family. And uh, and Grandma, she went peacefully in the morning and the family was kind of just hanging out at lunch. And I decided, you know, Grandma would want me out here. So I made my way out, checked some trail cameras on the way and there was a lot of activity going on up here. And so I decided I'll pick this stand and sit it out. And regardless what happened tonight, it was just nice to be in the woods, you know, kind of reminiscing on memories. And this is just an added bonus. And it was evident that she was definitely there with me tonight. This buck came out with about 20 minutes left of shooting light. And typical grandma fashion, holding off. My patience couldn't wait much longer. And he finally gave me the shot with about two minutes, I think, left of legal shooting light. And I hit him on the first shot better than I expected, better than I thought once my dad and I came up on him. He definitely uh, was a better shot than what I first thought I put on him. And he just gave me a second shot, and I think that was Grandma telling me to throw another one into him. So I gladly did, and he didn't go but 100 yards. And 
down over into the thick part of the timber. So that made for a fun route out with the cart, but it was worth it in every way. Thank you, Dad, for coming with me. Yep. I, uh, I appreciate this more than you know. You were the one that got me into this, so. This one was for you, Grandma. Just an awesome, awesome buck. I brought Kurt, or as his friend liked to call him, Jert, onto the team earlier this year, and uh, he's been having some great hunts. Uh, had a little bit of difficulty, you know, uh, you know,